unstable shell. This is what both the Kaita and the Verna have, despite the Verna scoring 5 stars in B and Cap. So should you care about shell stability or is it something that you can give a pass? The shell stability simply refers to how the passenger compartment fares in case of a crash. So the extent to which it deforms. Small deformation, acceptable. Large deformations, not so good. Why does it matter though? Suppose you get into an accident. The seatbelt protection worked exactly the way it was intended. The airbags opened, but the passenger compartment itself started crumpling. So will you survive in this case? Absolutely fucking not. And even if you do, you will end up with a lot of serious injuries. How is the shell made stable though? Passenger compartments or shells are made better by making use of more high strength materials like advanced high strength steel, making changes to the structure itself so that the crash force gets directed away from the passenger and analyzing the weak points of the car structure by running simulations or doing FEA that shows how the material deforms under stress. So should you care about shell stability? Ideally you should, but it also depends on how you are going to use that car and the kind of compromises that a safer car might have on offer.